Welcome back, Stockton, to another night of Overwatch. I am, of course, Josh. I am joined once again by Malik. Malik, tell me, how are you doing real quick? I'm doing amazing. I'm really excited for these matches tonight, Josh. Very A lot of exciting things going on in the Overwatch sphere. Absolutely, absolutely. We got a little bit to talk about in advance here, too. When we take a look over at the competitive scene of Overwatch, we are seeing a couple of changes. For one... I want I want to double check my facts and see if it was beforehand. I'm not 100% sure, but Bastion has gone MIA is completely missing. Who knows where, who knows when Bastion will return, but for now Bastion appears to just be gone. On top of that, we are seeing Kiriko be introduced into the into the composition and introduced into the competitive scene, finally being able to be played during these matches, which adds a whole new heap of opportunities that Stockton can absolutely take advantage of and possibly even dominate with. We were looking at some of these abilities in advance, and I think me and Malik both found that Kiriko with this mix-up in the competitive play could change quite a few things. And Malik, what do you think about that? Um, like you were saying, Josh, I really think Kiriko is going to change up the meta and uh, really lend herself to these aggressive comps. And I think that's Stockton, especially, uh, like we saw last week with the, who was it, the Weeb69 on Genji, really tearing it up. Yes. And I think that if we see Kiriko on these compositions along with Genji, we'll see a lot of results. Absolutely, absolutely. We were taking Kiriko is a high damage, a surprise high damage healer. There is so much going on with Kiriko's kit. I think the heals are ab the way she provides heals from a distance is able to get them out, send them over to her teammates with those little card things. I'm not 100% sure of the name, but with those little card things, able to get those out, send those out. It's an incredible way to heal your teammates. Along with that, she can immediately step over to the teammates. She has the ability to throw a nice little knockback grenade for the enemy, but also a nice little healing grenade for the friends. And of course, we gotta talk about about the incredible, incredible kunai throwing knives. Oh my goodness. We were taking a look at the damage that they were doing, and it was absolutely insane. So I think we're getting ready to jump into a game here, and let's see if they take advantage of this new character or not. Very excited to see how this goes. Uh, so far, we're seeing that UNC Greensboro is... Um, uh, so... <laughs> The match is just getting started. Really excited to see the types of comps that these uh, teams go with. Excited to see if we see Kiriko right off the bat. Um, we're waiting right now for the characters. It looks like we're not going to be seeing Kiriko from Stockton. However, we could be seeing it from UNC Green. Very interested to see how we're doing against UNC Greensboro. Rumor has it that this team in Stockton are more alike than it seems in terms of their uh, capabilities here. It looks like they're going to be putting up a very even match for the teams as the game starts here we are looking at stockton's team lost noble as diva the weeb 69 returning the greatest swordsman of all time returning back again as genji the avalanche coming in with fair at a combo with wee 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 with the with the mercy that rhymed <laughs> and of course we see kunai or we see, <laughs> I apologize, we see an Ana played by Pokemon Master Nick. So I'm very excited as we jump into this game here. Team moving full send into the map, going in, trying to maintain control of this tower. We're seeing the teams start skirmishing right now, contesting the point. UNC seems to have better control over the middle ground, but it's, you know, the game just started, so it's it could go either way. Stockton trying to make a dent here is Genji the Weave Master going in, able to deflect a few shots back at that Orisa. Diva out of the mech, going to be going down. Ana taking shots from behind, trying to get any sort of heals off and any sort of damage as much as possible. We see Murky, Mercy and Farah working together. The classic combo here as Genji is also trying to gang up with the team. Diva once again going back in and we are seeing the full team being pushed back towards their spawn. UNC forcing Stockton back right outside their spawn doors currently they are trying to do anything they can to breach through that main building and get back in there uh we're seeing unc employ you know a tactic of just you know taking the point and just keeping stockton out of without any chance of getting onto the point and just racking up that percentage uh, and we're seeing stockton start pushing in to start skirmishing with unc 
Absolutely. Lost Noble coming in here with Reinhardt. An incredible switch that hopefully should do some good play here. Seeing Genji go in with the ultimate combo with Ana. Desperately trying to throw every star around. Able to reflect shots back, but that Baptiste save is going to keep UNC alive right now. Genji able to take out Baptiste going back towards the objective. Going for Reaper. Able to get the Reaper. Will the Lucio be finished off as well? Constantly trying to get that re <laughs> trying to, constantly trying to get that Lucio out of the point. Lucio is going to be out. Only Orisa remaining. Are they going to be able to finish off this Orisa and take the point? Currently fighting for it right now. Uh, we saw a lot from the Weeb 69 in that fight. Really just went in, in there and tore it up. He has his ult now, so that next fight is going to be crazy. But it's definitely going to be a bit of a tight match for Stockton to come back from a 75-point deficit. Absolutely. Stockton are now trying to make waves as they capture the point, finally gaining percentage, going 10% Stockton, 75% UNC Green on a healing Reinhardt. Reinhardt trying to hold the team back. Genji with the ultimate fully filled, waiting to unleash the incredible sword play that we've seen finally unleashing it now gonna go right immediately able to take out the Baptiste ability but not gonna be able to do any further damage as Reinhardt is also taken out followed by Mercy Pharaoh without the classic combo also going down only leaving Ana back in the spawn once again Stockton is in, in the same predicament they were mere moments ago being locked back outside of their spawn not even able to get into the main building here really unfortunate to see that fight go sour really uh, really sucks that we didn't get to see the Wii pop off like we saw last week, that Reaper just striking him down preemptively. Absolutely. I'm hoping to see some more plays coming in tonight. Hopefully that doesn't that doesn't set the tone here for today. Looks like we're going to see Reaper on UNC using their ult, able to take out Farah and Mercy, but Reinhardt able to collect the ult, going for the Baptiste item, knocking it down, able to hit the ult on two enemies. But unfortunately, it looks like we are not going to be seeing the game here as we are seeing Overwatch 2 click cutting back to us in a nice surprise as it appears Overwatch 2 has crashed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a multi-million dollar company making a multi-million dollar product and it does not run perfectly every time apparently but that is fine we saw some interesting plays that definitely added some some new layers into this whole conversation now stockton and you would see are going to be doing tonight i think one of the big things is we saw the Wii master not able to do as much damage able to cut back thankfully as it looks like unc was able to take the first round looks like we just had a one minus app on our hands uh, who knows where this is going to go from here at this point, but at this point we're excited to see what happens regardless. Looks like composition-wise it's the same except for the Avalanche making the switch over to May. Round beginning right now as the point is going to be unlocked in about 20 seconds. Both teams making their way to the point. Really interested to see how May is going to fit into this comp with the ability to slow down these uh, mobile characters like Sombra and Lucio and block off entrances to the point. Ooh, we're going to see Ana be javelined off of the map by the enemy Arissa. Reinhardt swinging that hammer back and forth. May able to successfully take out Arissa, but it looks like May is now fighting a 1v4, a battle not to be won today. May is going to be taken out as UNC once again secures the point. Really unfortunate to see Stockton lose this beginning fight, but... You know, it's not the end of the world. The round just started. Uh, we're not seeing any composition changes on Stockton's end. Um, and I'm really interested to see how they go about handling this next fight. Absolutely. We are seeing UNC is very dominant when it comes to maintaining and holding those points. And Stockton desperately needs to find any way to readjust and realign in order to take out those strong defenses. Otherwise, they're just not going to get anywhere. And we're seeing it over and over again where Stockton is being literally forced back. It's happening again as UNC gets 40%. Stockton is being forced back towards their spawn. They're not even able to get anywhere near the point. Stockton being completely housed right now. It's insane to see because Stockton is actively known for being able to also do the same thing. Stockton is incredible at locking down. It just looks like they're not able to get the point to begin with. And I wonder if what, what happened last, last week is going to be happening once again this week. I agree with you, Josh. I really hope we don't see a repeat of last week. And I think that Stockton really just needs to take a step back and look at the problems that they're facing and see 
the changes in their comp that they need to make in order to shore up these issues that are being exploited by UNC. Absolutely. It looks like some big problems Stockton is facing right now is Arissa, Lucio, and maybe a little bit of Sombra. Sombra coming in there and able to do some incredible work, able to throw everyone off and everyone retargets. But we're going to see the Weed Master coming with the sword once again. A failed play from the Weed Master. It looks like Eternity on the enemy team playing as Sojourn is going to be getting two kills with the old Reinhardt getting onto the point not going to be able to do much as Sombra once again takes out Reinhardt's shield Reinhardt absorbing so much damage it is completely taken out only one on the point as 99% ticks down more and more is UNC going to be able to hold this point it looks like they are going to be and it looks like game one has been won by UNC Greensboro. There's a lot to talk about here. There's a me and like we got a we got a lot to talk about here. I definitely think uh, I definitely think we got some interesting uh, interesting uh, plays that <laughs> definitely were questionable. I think uh, we're, I think the biggest thing right now we're seeing is the Wii Master 69 compared to last week is just not outputting the same skill that we saw before and maybe that's just the first game maybe that's just some issues uh with some misplays in general but right now we are seeing the Wii Master 69 was not able to capitalize on the same things that happened last week using that ult able to come in from behind swipe at the enemy and completely annihilate last week seems like a match made in heaven this week not so much i definitely think at least what I noticed was that the Sombra on UNC Magics was just shutting down the Weeb69 every time he come in. Always had that hack ready right when the Dragon Blade comes out. And I think that Stockton really needs to pay attention to that, that the Sombra seems to just be shutting them down every at every turn. Absolutely, absolutely. Stockton was also being both games. We saw Stockton not only get like pushed back, but they were like pretty much spawn camped. And it's like Stockton, come on, you gotta break out. You gotta switch up, figure out mm. what formula works, communicate with the team, figure out what you need to do as a team. Take twenty percent off the off the board. It doesn't matter. You if you can't get any percent, if you can't even get near the point at all. What's the point then? Because you need to adjust and capitalize on the opportunity of switching those heroes to try and get into that point and try and get into this game here. Stocks and taking two losses in that first game back to back in devastating ways. Tonight, who knows how that's going to go. We have nothing but hopes coming in here for this next game. I definitely think that if they do some correct switch-ups and make some correct plays and group up a little bit harder, work together as a team a little bit better, I think Stockton could still pull this out for sure. I definitely agree with you, Josh. Uh, especially on the point of just taking a step back, letting the enemy team get, you know, 10% to really just sit there and think you know, what are the problems we're facing? What are the character switches that we need to make in order to shore up these problems that we're having? And it's, you know, way better to have a, take that time to have a thoughtful next push as opposed to just going in there with the same comp that hasn't really been successful this round. Absolutely, absolutely. It's really interesting seeing stocks in here get pretty much like locked in their spawn as i said already like it's just we haven't really seen this level of pushback against stockton and i really hope that they take that defeat that really really difficult defeat and i hope that they amp it up to the next level next round because they absolutely could stockton has the skill behind them we all know it we've all seen it multiple times whether it's a win or loss there's constantly highlighted plays but in these last two rounds here we didn't get much and i don't know how that's going to mean going for these next two games forward i definitely think team composition needs to switch up i think another really good thing we talked about at the beginning of the broadcast here switch up your character to some of the new characters here switch them up throw them off a little bit i definitely think there's open opportunity there to take advantage of people's unfamiliar unfamiliarity whatever that word is to, with these new characters they actively could take advantage of this but it seems like they're just not they're sticking to what they're comfortable with but what they're comfortable with is just not working whatsoever 
I definitely agree with you, Josh. These new characters are bringing a lot to a ta the table that people just aren't familiar with, aren't expecting. We haven't seen any Junker Queen. We've seen a little bit of Kiriko, and you know we're just not really seeing new, unique picks to throw off the enemy team, or a even maybe try to discover something meta-defining. Absolutely, absolutely. Stockton has the gateway here to make waves, and it just looks like they are not taking advantage of it yet. And we're hopefully going to see that in this next game here, loading into King's Row, a push map, a point, then push map. This map is classic. This map is goaded, all-time favored for sure. Definitely going to be interesting to see how this payload plays, because we saw UNC was able to abs not only just lock down, but lock down and force Stockton back towards their spawn. So I'm wondering when it comes to a payload with a moving, constantly moving point, back and forth moving point, is Stockton going to be able to take advantage of that movement and maybe get a little bit, get some flanks going on, get some extra plays going in there, figure out exactly what they can do to throw them off that point, throw them off their game. Let's see if Stockton is able to capitalize that. This game is getting ready to begin shortly. Stockton getting ready to make their way out in only 30 seconds. UNC making their way to the point. We're going to see exactly how they're going to be thrown off here. We're going to see Lost Noble is going to be going Reinhardt, the Weave Master 69. Once again, Genji, the Avalanche. Once again, May. Pokemon Master Nick. Once again, Ana. And Wee Wee. Once again, Lucia. Wait, actually, I don't think uh, Lucia was the same pick as last time. I think it was Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, we're seeing like minimal switch ups here. I think the only different character here we have is Lucio, and even then, Lucio was probably a pick from last game, late, late last minute. I definitely agree with you, Josh. We're seeing, we're not really seeing a lot of uh, reaction to these comps that UNC are throwing out and the success that they're having. And you know, overall, we're just seeing this typical kind of hyper aggressive comp as we're getting into this first team fight. Absolutely. We're seeing right now Stockton coming out of the gates hot, able to get some great damage right off the bat, pushing them off of the point. Stockton doing their best to knock UNC out of the way, out of the point. It looks like Stockton's going to be doing some quick, incredible work here, getting this payload, making me and the league both eat our words completely with this team comp here. Definitely looks like they were able to capitalize on that speed and that momentum that Stockton is known for to immediately get onto that point, capture it, force them off of it, and now they're moving the payload here with seven minutes to go in this round. That is an incredible beginning to this play here. Definitely, Josh. We're, we're seeing a big lead for Stockton this round. Hopefully, they'll be able to just take it and run with it to really just show their dominance against UNC tonight. And, you know, like we said, hopefully, I'm hoping that Stockton makes me eat my words and that they just kill it tonight. Absolutely. I would love to be wrong. I would love nothing more than to be wrong here. And it looks like Stockton said, we are proving you wrong right now. Stockton pushing forward, able to knock multiple people on UNC out of this round right now as they are forced back further and further. Stockton taking a page from the UNC book, forcing them back towards their spawn as Stockton moves his payload over halfway to that first checkpoint. Stockton Anna and Lucio now making their way back to the rest of the team. Looks like the rest of the attackers are taken out, but now it looks like everyone is grouping up and going to be making their way for another full momentum, full force push, which we saw only succeeded last time, so we can only assume the same is about to happen again right now. We're seeing both teams come up for another skirmish over the point, and it's just... Oh, we're seeing, we're seeing the Weep69 come in with the Dragon Blade, getting two kills. Three there we kills. go. There we go. Insane plays by the Weep69. This is what we all have seen from Stockton this year. This is what we're familiar with. Play of the game. Play of the game. They're able to get four kills right off the board there. Can five be secured? Five secured. An insane play from the Weep69. The Weep69 coming in to prove us wrong. Repeatedly able to wipe out the entire UNC team there with only three kills with the sword, and then switch to two kills with the shurikens. Incredible play there from the Weebmaster69, able to get them to that second checkpoint as they get ready for another skirmish over the point here, pushing into the final area of this map. Very classic, very iconic map. Very tight area. Is Stockton going to be able to work in this tight environment now? 
I definitely hope to see that, Josh. We're just seeing Stockton really just take that lead and r run with it. Like I said, we saw Reinhardt go down, but Stockton still has a very sizable 6 minute 40 second time to push that payload to the final point, build up those ults, have one more, two more good fights, and that'll be an easy dub. Absolutely. Stockton, once again, making way here. May able to get a little bit of damage off, going in for the ult, trying to stun the point, going to freeze in the bubble as well, trying to get any sort of players off of that point. Stockton able to make a little bit more leeway into this push. Unfortunately, it looks like Stockton is going to be a little bit separated right now. Only three together as the other two are respawning. Hopefully, they can get in there in time in order to in order to push together. It seems like that's what they're best at doing right now. Uh, we definitely saw a lot from Stockton in that last fight. I think um, the Avalanche made a bit of a mistake throwing that May ult. And um, uh, that the May ult seemed to have clipped on the corner of that building on the right. Really unfortunate to see. Absolutely, absolutely. It looks like that May ult was just not as successful as it was needed to be there. Trying to get that tank out. The game... Paused an interesting play here. I've never seen a play like that happen before. Some interesting stuff going on here with Overwatch. And it looks like we have, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, turns out, turns out all that incredible work from Stockton, none of it mattered. None of it mattered. <laughs> turns out <laughs> that incredible, that incredible Weed Master 69 play, those incredible pushes, all of it was just for view, for show. All of it was for viewership. It, none of it actually mattered. The competitive rule set was not in place. And when that's not in place, game can't happen. Looks like we're going to be seeing the game reset, which I think opens opportunity up for a few mix-ups in this game. And I think now UNC, knowing Stockton's heavy, aggressive, push-heavy, team-heavy play, which, by the way, Stockton, Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking together. Finally, I'm not on here talking about Stockton being super separated and super, you know, out of the way. Um, Stockton is working together, and it shows how good they did there. And I only hope they can replicate it, and hopefully UNC just doesn't take the opportunity to capitalize and switch up on Stockton. Mm -hmm. It's definitely an unfortunate event, and... I hope that this doesn't make Stockton lose this momentum that they seem to get out of nowhere. And I really hope that this doesn't give UNC an opportunity to really sit back and think about a counterattack, about this very dominant, offensive, aggressive comp that Stockton has been known for so far this season. Absolutely, absolutely. We saw Stockton was able to just demolish those points was able to demolish the entire enemy team off the payload again. Y'all all saw it with your own eyes. The Weebmaster 69 went in there and cleared, completely cleared. All five, gone, wiped, squad wiped. It didn't matter. It was over. Victory Royale type stuff. We saw it was an incredible play there. Successful ult use, following up with the two stragglers, got him out. It was incredible. And now it's like, we're going into a redo of this game. Can it even be close to replicated? We're going to have to wait and find out. But I'm a little concerned in seeing how UNT is going to be adjusting. So it seems that they've decided to restart the match and that we're going to be getting into it shortly. Um, I guess my thoughts going into this match is that if I were UNC... I would keep that somber pick. That somber pick seemed to really uh, prove fruitful in the match. They had it, shutting down those Weeb 69 plays. And, you know, I really hope we don't see U UNC pick Sombra, but, you know, if they were. Absolutely. It's definitely an interesting meta switch up that we're going to be seeing here. Stockton actively needs to take advantage of this momentum and keep it up for sure. That's the only way they're going to take out another dub here or take out a dub here for this next game. We're definitely going to need to see some comp adaptations from Stockton. And, you know, we've been saying again and again so far this night that they seem to be lacking in that regard of flexibility 
as they seem to prefer the comfortability of these picks that they play in and out and know like the back of their hand. And I think that as the season progresses, you know, they're going to need to wake up and realize that you can't always be on your comfort pick. And it seems that we're getting back into this redo. Absolutely. Stockton getting right back into it. Is there going to be a success story here? Is the momentum going to be maintained, going to be kept up? Is Stockton going to be holding this game and not letting it go? Or is it going to be gone with the wind? We're going to be finding out here 15 seconds till this game begins. Everyone's loading in right now, it seems. Oh, 15 seconds till the character picking begins. Very excited to see how the meta switches up here. I would definitely love to see Stockton come back swinging out of the gates like they did just to show UNC who's boss. We're seeing an interesting comp switch up from Stockton right now with Doomfist, Widowmaker. And we'll we'll see if they stick with these picks going into the match, but I definitely would love to see uh, this switch up. Definitely seems interesting. This is a very exciting mix up here. I was not ready for this switch up. The Avalanche, Nick, and Wee Wee, they're all the same characters. We're gonna see May, Anna, and Lucio still being played. However, however, we got Lost Noble making the switch up from Reinhardt to Doomfist. A very interesting pick. I believe right now most people have an understanding that Doomfist probably the worst tank in the game. Oh, I am wrong. Doomfist is back at Reinhardt, so I don't even need to continue on here with my point. Uh, but of course, we're going to see the Weave as well switch back. So now at this point, they're falling back into that comfort zone. But at this point... They're kind of switching up last minute here. Are they going to be a little bit too late on at this point? As it looks like UNC has switched to con to constantly readjust their strategy here, at defending against Stockton's heavy push meta, and it looks like it worked. And Stockton, once again, it, they're just not switching up now. And we were talking about it at the beginning of the game, like, oh, they're doing these switch ups. Oh, that could be really interesting. That opens up a bunch of opportunity. But now it looks like we're seeing the same situation as we saw the first game, where. They're not really doing the switch-ups that are necessary here, and it could cost them. Hopefully, they're able to get a successful push in here as they are going towards the A point, going around the back, going to see if they can make any leeway here. The entire team pretty much completely grouped up. The Avalanche being taken out. There goes May. We're going to see Baptiste thrown up that ability. Or not Baptiste, I apologize. We're going to see that ability thrown up. Knocked out as Stockton is being taken out one by one by one here. The Wii Master being the final one to fall on the team as Stockton did a... Failed push. We're not able to capitalize on that push, and it doesn't seem like Stockton plans on switching their uh, switching their play style here. They're going in with the same team again, going to see if they can accomplish a similar push again. But right now, it just looks like it is not working out for them. You know, they. I'm sure you all have heard. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I think we're really seeing that with Stockton. And you know, not to knock. Stockton, but their comp that they seem to always stick with is very feast or famine. They either just go in and tear things up or they, you know, get almost spawn camped. And it's. Oh, and we're seeing a fight break out over the control point. UNC coming out on top, but the Weave 69. Oh, getting it tragically cut down right as the ult comes up. An incredibly, incredible. I had to take a second there because that 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 team kill. I heard that noise. I had to take a step back. I was like, man, we were so we were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. Stockton going in for another push here. Are they going to be able to actually make leeway here? Struggling really hard to do so, but finally Stockton able to make a successful push happen. Able to almost completely wipe the entire. Able to completely wipe the entire team and take. UNC's point away with a minute 15 left. Not nearly as fast, not nearly as effective as before. However, Stockton was able to just make it happen. Thank goodness for that because we were absolutely struggling for pretty much most of that first attempt for those first few attempted pushes. Hopefully Stockton's able to make a little bit more leeway here as the point finally moves out. Another fight breaking out under this underpass here. May trying to get Reinhardt thrown off the game. Ana able to put Reinhardt to sleep, but Reinhardt's going to be woken right back up. And now they're going to be struggling right under this underpass. Who's going to be coming out on top? 
You know, it's so unfortunate to see Stockton not come out with the same lead they did last match. We're seeing about a, a three and a half minute difference from between this match and the last. Absolutely. It's definitely an interesting play. Now that Stockton has that time constraint on them, are they going to be able to make any waves here? Or are they just going to be stuck in the water, not able to really get any sort of possession or any sort of maintainment over that point? Especially knowing UNC is known. Clearly by that first game, they are showing that they are good at locking a point down. Now, of course, we're talking about a moving point, which are two different things. However, there is still that threat looming overhead. There is still that fear looming overhead as Lucio is going to be taken out over on Stockton's team, along with Reinhardt and along with May and along with Ana. Only Genji remaining. Genji doing a little bit of work, but is going to be taken out as well. All five members of Stockton back in their spawn grouping together and it looks like that lost time is really hurting them right now because they do not have any wiggle room right now it's it definitely seems like stockton works best when they get that early lead when they win that first fight and they get that time to be able to have unsuccessful fights and oh we're seeing we're seeing the weeb 69 go in Ooh. with the alpha Ooh. blade cut uh Bolstered Woo! by the Lucio health, and we're seeing a Whoa! team wipe by the Weeb69, our favorite sword master. Oh man, you saw Lost Noble was able to get a kill in there as well. The entire team completely wiped by multiple ult plays. We saw Reinhardt's ult, we saw Genji's ult, and we saw Lucio's ult combo into one extremely effective play that's able to push them significantly farther on this point and possibly able to get them a secured spot at this checkpoint. They're currently trying to make way. UNC able to contest that point. Is Stockton going to be able to push through? Genji fighting, able to deflect all those Reaper shots, but is any more damage going to be able to come of this? It's not going to be happening. And it looks like Stockton was not able to get to that checkpoint. With only a minute remaining, Stockton has to do or die here. This is the moment. Otherwise, it's going to be going. It's going to be going over there to a UNC here in this first round. Again and again, it's so unfortunate to see uh, that Stockton was at this time and during the last match. Stockton was about to close the game out, and now they're closer to the halfway mark than they are to the finish really unfortunate to see but hopefully we can see stock and squeeze out a win here we're seeing the Wii master go in for a flank play looks like the rest of the team going to be following is that going to throw the team off we're not 100 percent sure here it's a skirmish is going to break out over the payload reinhardt versus reinhardt reinhardt is going to be trying to ult into reinhardt it's not going to be successful Ana trying to heal from behind not going to be able to get the heal off on multiple teammates Trying to get Lost Noble healed. Able to pop a little bit more health on Lost Noble, but Stockton is going to be taken out. Only five seconds remaining. Another team kill. Looks like Stockton is going to be taking only one point home in this first half of game two. It's so sad to see. You hate to see it. But I have all the confidence that Stockton is going to clutch up and take this round that they rightfully deserve. You all saw it. They got robbed by that quick play mistake. It's so sad to see. Absolutely, absolutely. Very unfortunate happenings there. It was a little bit funny. I did. Don't get me wrong. I laughed. However, it was super unfortunate because Stockton was able to dent in a way that I don't think I've genuinely ever seen them do before to such an effective manner. Stockton, like, maintained and dominated that point. And they just, they weren't able to do it as successful, nearly as successfully and had no wiggle room. So by the time they got that first point, by the time they were able to get the payload out and onto the field, didn't really do that much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready for this next uh, round. And going into it, I'm willing to say that I think that, that we're not going to see any character change-ups on Stockton's end. And, you know, again, not to, not to dig at them, but again, it just seems like this, this consistent issue we're seeing with Stockton of just the same comp every round, every match. Absolutely. Don't get us wrong. Do not get us wrong. They are very good at the characters that they play. However, sometimes it just does not answer the problems that they need solved. And I think we're seeing that right now 
as Stockton is currently being forced backwards onto the point. May trying to wall off the enemy team. Lost Noble holding the line as Reinhardt pushing back the other Reinhardt. No 1v1 here as the rest of the teams rally behind both of them. Shields up right now, desperately trying to maintain control of this point. Reinhardt pushing him back. Looks like Lost Noble going to be taken out, followed by the Avalanche. The rest of the team trying to hold on. Both healers remaining only on Stockton. Nick and Wee Wee spill, still alive, but it looks like they're going to be going towards spawn as UNC is going to pretty much right off the bat, as if they were Stockton from the quick play game themselves, are going to be getting that first point. And now they don't even have to get to the first checkpoint here. They just got to get 108 meters, which is close to the first checkpoint. But still, that's not that much distance. And now you're seeing players like Sombra and Sojourn and Baptiste on the team. And there's really not that as many answers as are needed right now for them. So is Stockton going to be able to even get this point and hold it or stop it from getting not even half the checkpoints <laughs> there? Half the checkpoints the way there. We're going to have to wait and find out as Stockton is skirmishing under the underpass. It looks like that payload is being made way through there. Going to see Reinhardt on UNC ulting. Going to be missed, however, as Stockton is going to go in. The Wii Master able to get a melee kill on Lucio as Wii Wii is able to kill the Reinhardt. Stockton pushing back on that underpass, able to knock them back a little bit more. Sombra fighting the May. Genji. Fighting the Baptiste, they are trying their best to hold them back and push them a little bit farther as the teams are currently still skirmishing under this underpass. UNC once again respawning, getting ready for another big fight here. Uh, that fight was definitely interesting. I will admit I had my doubts. I saw that Baptiste, I saw that Sombra, and I'm like, oh, well, Stockton is not going to have a fun time with this, but... They were just able to push through, and we're seeing a skirmish break out now with UNC on the payload, fighting Stockton back, getting those picks. Absolutely, absolutely. It looks like UNC is going to be knocking Stockton away from that point as that payload is already nearing the halfway point of 108 meters passing and officially at 65 meters and counting stockton is actively running out of time here and needs to get to this point as soon as possible unc only needing one successful push after this with almost four minutes remaining oh just under four minutes remaining unc's looking like they're uh, shaping up pretty well here but stockton coming in with the greatest swordsman of all time coming in with the swipes able to take out lucio following up able to go in for a couple more swipes able to get out two more players baptiste and sojourn being taken out and a complete near team wipe as Stockton's able to push UNC off of that point. Incredible play once again. So grateful to say this. Incredible play once again by the Weebmaster69. Absolutely amazing. I couldn't agree with you more, Josh. Just the synergy that Stockton has, you know, when it works, it works. But, you know, when it doesn't, it doesn't. And it's so nice when it does work. Absolutely, absolutely. Stockton are now fighting over on the stairs. A Maywell going to stop Reinhardt from crushing the other Reinhardt. Incredible play by May. Reinhardt able going in for that ultimate. It still looks like it's not going to do as much damage, damage as needed. May able to take out the enemy Reinhardt, but we're losing our Reinhardt as well as we are losing the rest of the team. Only Ana remaining. Ana the only one on the point. This is what they need to hold. Stockton unfortunately being taken out here as the point is inching closer and closer, just under 10 meters away. 10 meters away. UNC making their way to the point. Stockton has no time here to defend. And it looks like UNC is going to be securing game two against Stockton here. UNC Greensboro up two games to none for Stockton. It's really unfortunate to see, but at the very least, we got to watch this play of the game by the Weeb69 that we just saw, where he's just slicing and dicing like Fruit Ninja through this entire team. <laughs> Absolutely. It's it's genuinely like they might as well just at this point rename play the game to the Weed Master 69 play of the game or the Weave 69 play. I keep saying the Weed Master, the Weave 69 play of the game because those sword plays, when they work, Oh man, do they work. It's absolutely incredible to see the crushing dominance from the Wii Master. Or the Wii, again, I apologize. I don't know why I keep adding a little bit of the, the Wii Master in there. Maybe it's because we're seeing such incredible plays from this player. And it's just like, wow. 
where's the rest of that momentum the entire time? You know what I mean? Like, we're seeing these incredible team wipes that honestly, like, are just in- absolutely incredible. They are completely game changing. And then we're out of time. Or, and then we didn't move the payload enough. And then the game's over. And it's just like, what is the missing piece here to keep Stockton from taking home these games here? We're currently down two games against UNC Greensboro here, and Stockton just needs to figure out what they can do to make a dent here. Make Get a game in here. Get a win in here. They need it now more than ever, and now they're on their back foot. This is it. They have one more game here. If they lose it, it's over. If they win it, we're able to get into game four, and then hopefully game five, and from there... Stockton just needs to push out as much as they can here. They need to put in as much effort as they can here, and I think they absolutely have the potential. They have the capability to do it. It just depends if they capitalize on it and just if they do it. You know, where I keep saying that I feel like a broken record. They need to change up the comp. I love their comp, the Reinhardt, the May, the Genji, all you know, together, very high synergy. But the issue is, you know, you're all funneling it into the, the Genji sweep, into the Genji ult. And if that's unsuccessful, then the whole comp thesis falls apart. Absolutely, absolutely. Like a bad college paper, it's just not going to work out. They're not going to get what they're going for here. And I think that all the pieces for incredible plays are there. All the pieces for incredible moments are there. I just don't, I'm just not confident right now in their ability to maintain control of a point and just lock it down and just absolutely be able to take advantage of the enemy team's picks there and the enemy team's players there and just roll through them and just take them out and just throw them off. I think we're seeing a lot of the time as well. We talked about it last time. They weren't grouping up as much previously. However, now we're seeing they tend to group up so much. Incredible. I want to give them absolute credit for that. Sometimes, though, I'm noticing that they're grouping up five people for a flag play that only Genji would be doing normally. And we're seeing that happen, and it's like, it's not succeeding. It's not working out. What can they do there? What can they, like, how do they navigate this here? Because it's they're doing the right thing and staying together, but sometimes they're just positioning a little bit wrong here. I really think that the key is, you know, paying attention to these big cooldowns, really making sure that you know how long the sleep dart's going to be on cooldown, the Sombra hack, the uh, ba- Baptiste invincibility drone. If And if you're not paying attention and they have these, you know, set it and forget it answers to um, these... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot what I was saying. If they're if they're not able to maintain control of those opportunities that they're trying to capitalize on, it's just not gonna work out. We're getting ready here. We're gonna be moving into game three shortly. Very excited to see here on Circuit Royale. Uh we did hear that two of our players have switched characters. Uh very, very interesting to see the if we're gonna see a switch here on Stockton's end and uh, hopefully you know a uh, comp to answer what they've been seeing and the answers that UNC has been throwing out absolutely we're going to be seeing two new players switching up on the roster here as Seiji and Vanilla switch in here taking the spot let's see if they're able to maintain any sort of dominance here Stockton Having an interesting meta coming into it. Looks like they're still getting ready, but I'm really interested to see how this meta is going to be working out. Looks like we got a couple snipers. We got a couple more healers that are more focused on super quick, super fast healing. Definitely think that's going to be good here. And we have a Sigma, which is like interesting in terms of we really don't see Stockton kind of utilize uh, Sigma's abilities as much as they really could. And I think Sigma is definitely going to be a good play here and something that's going to throw UNC off their game a little bit. I agree with you, Josh, and I definitely think that Sigma might even be a good replacement for the Reinhardt in their usual comp. That Sigma ult lifting everyone in the air and setting up Genji really well for for a team sweep. Absolutely. I think that that ultimate's going to 
effectively come into play here on a brand new Overwatch 2 map as well. Circus, Circuit Royale. Let's call it Circus Royale. It's definitely not that. On Circuit Royale, is the game is going to be getting, going to be beginning here. Stockton able to get a little bit of distance on this payload. Two checkpoints and a final point. Stockton going to be going for Sigma. Able to do some good work on this Orisa, but it's not going to be enough as it looks like Orisa is getting healed by that Ana. And now an Echo coming in from for Sigma. Sigma losing that shield. Going to be switching over to Hanzo here. Hanzo trying to snipe. Not hitting those shots. Able to get a headshot on Orisa. Doing a little bit more damage. Showing the team where the enemy are. And just putting in some work here. Stockton able to get a little bit of distance on this point. But it looks like their shots are not landing for Hanzo all, at all times here. Uh, I'm definitely liking the comp that we're seeing from Stockton. Seems to be a comp that is better at these, you know, skirmishing, picking people off, you know, chipping away at people with the Hanzo, the Widowmaker, really being able to s try to get a pick, try to get some big damage off on someone. Seiji here has sighted the other Widowmaker, but was not able to connect that shot there. Hanzo trying to get some damage off, but... Looks like damage is not being done, but that payload is moving rapidly. It is literally inches away from that first checkpoint. 1.92 meters away from that first checkpoint, as it is currently being held by UNC. Stockton trying to make any sort of leeway back onto this point. Ana healing up. Uh, Lost Noble is Sigma here, and Hanzo doing a little bit of work as well. Looks like we are still fighting and being pushed back. Is this happening again? Are we seeing a repeat? Once again, of Stockton being pushed back, are they going to be able to maintain control here? Looks like Ana said, no, we are not. Ana able to unleash the ult on Sigma. Sigma doing a little bit of damage here. Now with that ult charge, able to go and push a little bit forward. UNT being pushed back a little bit further. Stockton going for that point. Able to get onto it. Inching closer and closer onto this first checkpoint. Able to finally get to it. Stockton securing that first checkpoint here and getting a point on the board. I think that these character change-up Stockton has done have are really doing wonders. We're seeing instead of this like coin flippy kind of back and forth, um, we're seeing a consistent, slow but steady push with this comp, which I'm very much liking. I think Sigma was an excellent uh, pick for this comp and for this map. Absolutely. We see Lost Nobles absolutely capitalizing with those shields along with those ranged attacks. I think that's one big thing, big downside that we were seeing with Reinhardt. Is in such a push heavy meta when you have to push with Reinhardt, it was kind of happening where they would go in and push really hard and then just kind of get clapped and completely like lose out there and they would just get wiped. But now we're seeing with Sigma, they're able to maintain a little bit of distance. And now that they have people like the Weed Master on Hanzo and Seiji on uh, Widowmaker, who unfortunately both just went down as a talk and trying to disprove my point. But regardless, as they're able to maintain that distance, they're able to do it incredibly effectively for the most part here, capitalizing on that distance, on that ability. But let's see if they're going to be able to adjust as UNC looks like they're going to be making a couple composition switches to answer Stockton here. We're also seeing some changes on Stockton's side with the Weeb69 switching from one Hashimoto brother to the other. I hope I said that right. Uh, we're seeing him go back to his classic Genji, and I'm really curious if my comments earlier about Sigma Ult setting up Genji perfectly will come to fruition. I'm really, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here, my hands, if you can see me right now, my hands are up in the air. I'm like, we see Genji again? Wow. You know, are we surprised? We master trying to get a little bit of damage here. Is he able to try and get about near halfway onto the second checkpoint? Pushing in that Baptiste, I, that Baptiste invincibility shield is not going to be taken out effectively enough for Genji to be able to secure a kill here. Genji able to knock back shots from Ash, but unfortunately going to be taken out by Widowmaker. And we're going to be seeing Bob unleashed on Stockton as Arissa is going to be knocking back Sigma. Sigma trying their best they can while looking like a. Uh, Oh my goodness, Bill Nye the science guy right now. What is that skin? But regardless, we're going to see Lost Noble is taken out. Stockton once again off of that point. And it looks like they're going to be regrouping here, going in and seeing if they can get another push in. I'm definitely curious to see how they're going to be answering here. This is a very difficult point to push as well, which is why I think Stockton definitely is going to be a little bit on edge here. They're at a point where there is extreme height advantage 
for UNC. And Stockton just needs to figure out what they can do. And I think someone like Hanzo is definitely a good answer to that. It just looks like they're not able to completely take advantage of that. As we're seeing players like Mercy and... Uh, Oma said Hanzo. Mercy and uh, Genji be taken out pretty much immediately as you're going up that wall there. It looks like An is going to pretty much be the only one fighting on this point. Followed by... Followed by Widowmaker here as Lost Noble is being revived. Going in for another push. Could that be a crucial play from Vanilla on Mercy here? We're going to be seeing as Stockton is trying to get any sort of movement on this payload here. Not much distance though. You know, it's definitely stressful at this point. Stockton is really going to need to clutch up and... We're almost at a miracle point where they just need to go. They need to break through the gates in one last push, but I'm not quite sure if we're going to be seeing that just yet. UNC really able to lock down that high ground and halt Stockton's advance. I definitely am curious to see how they're going to be answering this when it comes to defense as well. Is Stockton going to try and maintain this hill in the same way that UNC has, where they're taking sniper shots down towards the low ground, or are they going to be waiting for them to get to that hill and run up it like they're from Stranger Things? We're not 100% sure yet, but it looks like Stockton is going to be trying to stall for the overtime. Are they going to be able to do it? Still waiting. Bob going to be unleashed again by UNC here. Genji off the point, and it looks like Stockton is going to only be 33 meters into that into that first checkpoint. As we go in here to round two, Stockton with only one point on the board here. And overall, UNC going in. This is game three, and UNC does not have to make... They do not have to go that far at all. Let's just be clear. Stockton absolutely needs to, like, when I say defense, I mean, like... Defense, defense, defense. Like famous football team reference current year defense. Absolutely needed right now. They need to hold it down. They need to lock it down like a jail cell. They need to make sure that point does not move for as long as they can. I think that's a big thing for Stockton right now. Time management. Time effectiveness. They are running out of time. They are able to get to the point, but it's always late. They're able to get to this point and capture it, but it's just not enough time left on the board, and they don't have that wiggle room. So if they're able to give themselves that wiggle room of lowering that timer for UNC and forcing UNC to just start pushing and just getting dropped off and kicked off here, Stockton can still win this. Stockton could still take home this win. It just depends. It just depends here how they defend, and I think this this initial push. Really, is going to be telling all here because from here, it's not that it's not that far. It is really not that far whatsoever. So it is up to Stockton to just get any sort of any sort of distance on this payload out of here. Do not get that thing moving. Do not get that thing ahead. Stockton needs to lock it down. It looks like already I'm a little bit concerned because they are just going to let UNC start making leeway immediately as it looks like UNC made a couple of switches. They're definitely going to be interesting to see how Stockton are going to be counterplaying. I'm definitely interested to see how this round goes. It's really... Uh, UNC only has a few more meters to go. I'm curious to see how Stockton is going to be able if they're going to be able to bring this back. And I really hope that they take this round to realize that they keep having these matches where they go in, they die. They go in, they die. They go in, they win. They go in, they die. And sometimes we're just seeing these inconsistencies with success. And we're not seeing Stockton see these fail fight, fight and, and really think, think hmm, what, what are, are the changes we need to make to see success here and are rather like, well, let's just go in again. Stockton getting pushed in from the flank there. Sigma on the enemy team able to push Stockton back a little bit further as they're going to be fighting for that bridge. UNC taking control of it as Stockton is trying to push back UNC after they are officially getting through that bridge. Stockton, or UNC, halfway with that payload already to the final checkpoint. Not much time here. Two and a half minutes remaining, and once they get to that third, once they get to that first checkpoint, regardless, Stockton is going to have 
an incredibly difficult time because now their spawns are closer. You don't have to go much farther, and they're going to get extra time on the board. Stockton needs now to lock it down. They need to do it now. This is the time. They need to get some kills here. They need to do some damage here. Hopefully, we can see something like the Weeb unleash that ult. And as I say that, the Weeb is going to be taken out. As we're seeing Vanilla on Baptiste, a very interesting play and a very good switch. I don't think Stockton has utilized Baptiste uh, nearly as much. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe we even saw Baptiste last game, correctly? Or last uh, last week, correctly? Uh, I don't believe so. And it's definitely interesting to see because I think that their usual comp that they go with, the hyper-aggressive, you know, Reinhardt, Genji, etc., could see a lot of value from Baptiste and his ability to turn you invincible. Absolutely. It looks like UNC is going to be pushing further into that point. Stockton not making any sort of attempt to defend here. The Wii Master being the only one to really make leeway in. Unleashing the ult. It's not going to be enough in time. And Stockton is going to take a third. And I believe, I'm 99.99999% I'm sure, Stockton is going to be taking a uh, all three games lost. That's it. I think it was best out of five. And that is going to be doing it for Stockton here. Getting that confirmed in my ear right now as Stockton is out officially here of this game today. Stockton losing all three games. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate output from Stockton tonight. I think we had a lot of high hopes. And I think there was so much we talked about that was super interesting to set up. A whole new meta unleashed today. We saw a whole new setup unleashed today. A whole new set of possibilities unleashed today. With new characters coming in here. We got a whole new character like Kiriko coming into this meta, coming into this play, and it was not utilized, not only even a little bit, it was not utilized at all by Stockton. And that opportunity sorely missed. We're seeing Stockton was not able to get any sort of important leeway. And the only... Uh, Man, the only time they did, the only time they did, it wasn't even an official game. It was an accidental quick play thing. Could you? How would the tables have turned? How would the gears have shifted? How would everything be different right now if Stockton and UNC had not started that game of quick play? I want to speak. I want to speak. You know what? No. Who? Who is it? Who is it? Who did that? Who did that? Because I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you because that changed everything. <laughs> that absolutely changed the entire set of the games tonight. But regardless, it was up to Stockton there to kind of rebound from something like that and switch it up into a way that would actively benefit them. And they just didn't. And we saw them go in with the same team. And they were to make some distance. They were able to get some incredible plays. Of course, we got Douglas. Once again, once again, oh, look, surprise. Oh, my God, are we surprised? The Wii Master 69 did an incredible play with the ultimate. Wow, are we surprised? No. But regardless, it didn't matter because they were still 0-3 in games that didn't matter. And it was just like, Stockton, you got to make the correct switches. you got to switch up your meta. you got to switch up that team. And you got to capitalize on their weaknesses in order to get any sort of leeway in these games. And I think they just were, I don't know, I don't want to call it stubborn, but I just want to call it something because I don't know what to say here because they just did not switch when they really needed to. They did not adapt when they really needed to, and I definitely think that they could have made so much leeway, made so much progress had they done so. I definitely agree with you, Josh, and I think it really is a shame that we didn't see more Kiriko. We didn't see more Baptiste from Stockton because their kits lend themselves so well to the type of Genji-centered aggressive comp that they love to run the invincibility from Baptiste and you know the Kitsune rush from Kiriko would really lend themselves to a Genji sweep but we just didn't really see it and I think that Stockton has to realize they have to they have to they have to realize at some point they need to change things up absolutely absolutely I'm really again we said this last week as well We'll say it again. I really hope they take this game. And I really hope that they did it last week too because I'm not 100% sure anymore. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. I, they definitely did. They definitely listened. Someone listened. Someone heard us out there because they were grouping up. That's more. Pro that's progress compared to last week. Regardless, I hope they take this and I hope they do the same thing. Listen up. Play more characters. Play more characters. Switch it up. Throw the enemy team off their feet. Once you do that, there's, there's, there's so many paths to victory that could have happened there, and it's just so mm -hmm. upsetting. 
because it didn't. It didn't. We were 0 and 3 again. This is it's like it's, it's a swan song where it's like over and over again. We're getting 0 and 3 and 0 and 3. And it's just nothing is happening when it needs to. Super unfortunate here going for Stockton as we come to a close tonight. Malik, do you have any final thoughts? You know, Josh, all I really have to say is that Stockton, if anyone from the Stockton team is watching this right now, please change up your characters. Play new characters. I don't care how comfortable you how, how comfortable you are throwing out rock because paper's always going to beat it. And that's, you know, that's all I got to say. Absolutely. Completely, completely agree with you there, Malik. Thank you to everyone for tuning in tonight for some very fun, regardless regardless of everything else, a little bit scuffed, but very fun Overwatch matches. It was an honor to cast for these. Hope you could say the same, Malik, because it was an honor to cast with you as well. Coming in here real quick, just want to say, if you want to be up to date, and if you want to see all the stock, all the great Stockton games, if you want to see all the great Stockton streams, make sure to follow, even turn notifications on. Get get in on that. Get in on that. Follow Stockton Esports on Twitch. You can also find Stockton Esports on Twitter, on YouTube, and on TikTok. And overall, you definitely should take a look at that. Take advantage of that. Oh, of course, and on Instagram. And regardless, thank you guys so much for tuning out tonight. It was absolutely fun. Uh, hopefully, next week we have a little bit of a different story. But for now, we will see you guys all next time. Have a good night. Have a good night, everyone.